with our friends over at 830 WCCO Radio. Hello, Chad. Hello. Uh, where do you want to start here? X okay. Games. X Games. Okay. Yeah. Are you there? going? I think they actually are there practicing today, right? I'm a participant. I can't. I can't tell you which oh. event I'm participating. Wear a helmet. I, will. I see you as a skateboarder with Skateboard. knee pads, yeah. elbow pads. I have terrible balance. I, I would. I would not be very <laughs> good at that. Going to wrap you up in padding. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, like the sumo suit might be good. <laughs> uh, excitement for the two of you. Zero to ten that the X Games are here. I'd say I'm about a f six. Six. You know, I, you were I, I'm excited for the city. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say five. I think it's the yeah. first time that the X Games have been held in an NFL stadium. It is, yep. Which is pretty cool. Yep. And Big they're deal. here for two years, right? They were I in think L.A. it's great for the city. Yeah, yeah it's, it's going to be a lot of coverage. Um, I don't know. Is it going to be the stereotypical that the perception we have a lot of younger individuals? Are we going to see kind of a cross-section? It is part of the calling card of U.S. Bank, too. So one of the individuals beyond the X Games is going to join us at 1.35. John Tevlin is going to join us, uh, we believe, at 2.35. John, the outstanding columnist for the Star Tribune. Main point with John is going to be on the mayor's race, right? We just had the DFL endorsement process, and nobody came close at all to 60% to get the endorsement. Mayor Hodges obviously is running for re-election. It's tough to figure out who's going to win this race. So John's very close. A lot that of situation. choices. A right lot now. of choices. And will all those people be in the mix? by the time we get to election day. And then the last one, uh, Wisconsin and DUIs. This is a topic I've covered before. Wisconsin and their reputation for having fun, I think a lot of people would say they live up to, lived up to it. But it's pretty stunning how light, especially the first DUI offense is in the state of Wisconsin. So we're gonna talk about that and why it just doesn't change. We're going to get to that throughout the, uh, the rest of the you afternoon. You could definitely say, as a reporter in Green Bay, I found that it was part of the state's culture. It's, yeah. It's and, very different there. And the pushback mm -hmm. is pretty stunning. And yep. compared to other states, it's really, really low. It's incredible. All right, Chad, thank you. Thank